Hi friends, how are you today? I'm just going to do a very simple beef stew today. It's a slow cooker recipe. I'm going to be doing mine in the instant pot. If you use a normal slow cooker, you'll need to saute the vegetables and the meat first. Because my um, instant pot has a saute function on it, I'm just going to do it all in one pot. Just because for me it saves um, washing up, it saves another pan, doesn't it? I will just give this a bit of a wipe though because it's got some splashes on it from cooking breakfast this morning. <laughs> give it a wipe down. There we go. Right, so it's a little bit better. I know you couldn't see it, but it's not the point, is it? There we go. Right, so I'll just pop the camera down, just show you what I'm quickly doing today. And it's one of those simple recipes. You can add anything you want to it. So this is the very basic plain recipe. Put some lights on, is that better? It's very dark today. I don't know why, because the sun is out, but it's very windy. It's very windy. So I'm just going to move the, the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. I think it should be okay there. Just move it up towards the cupboard and then it keeps it a bit more stable. So all I've got here is a little bit of oil in the pan, just a bit of olive oil. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to that as well. Just adds a nice richness to the the stew having a little bit of butter there. You could just use ghee. I often put ghee in um, and just cook with that on its own. And all we're going to do is saute these vegetables off first. Once that butter starts to melt. I should have got that started first, shouldn't I? I didn't think. Never mind. Never mind. It's warming through now melting nicely right so I'm just going to pop an onion medium-sized onion three medium small to medium-sized carrots and two to three sticks of celery whatever you want there we go just start sauteing them while I crush the garlic I do prefer these types of garlic crushes that you rock on the board with both hands because just using those press ones, it really hurts my wrists. But because I have to get on my tiptoes though because I'm not tall enough. So I've got about three, I think I've got three... I've got two decent sized cloves of garlic here and two small. So you could just have three regular size garlic. In fact, you could just put however much or however little garlic you prefer. It really is up to you. So, oh, don't want no waste. There we go. Just rinse my hands. We're just sauteing that now, as you can hear, just for a few minutes, just to soften them a little bit and get them going. And I'll just get the kettle open for the tomatoes. Oh, I think it's in here, isn't it? My can opener broke, so I'm just using this little. Can open the brook, so I bought a new one that was just like it, and it only lasted a couple of weeks. And I had to throw it in the bin, that broke as well. And the previous can opener I had before that had lasted about 20 years, so I wasn't impressed. Just supposed to show nothing is made very well these days, is it? Really, right? So I give my 
rid of my can of good white before I open this. Oh, that's softened nicely now, just on the saute. So you'd saute that in a separate pan, like I said, if you're using a normal um, like crock pot style of slow cooker. My scissors have gone missing. I keep promising myself to buy myself a few pairs of scissors in the kitchen. This one is not enough. Right. The meat's going in now. It's still a little bit frozen. freezer last night which has annoyed me muchly but never mind there we go just put that over there I need to do some cleaning up don't I right so we will just brown that meat and I shall be back in a very short while Right, so we're just browning the mint, so it's like brown on all sides. That can help seal in the flavour. So that's mostly brown now. So what I'm going to do is just add a tin of tomatoes. You could just add passata if you wanted. That would be absolutely fine if you've got like a caution of passata or a jar or something. But tomatoes and I'm eyeballing it, just about a tablespoon of tomato paste, tomato puree. I'm putting about a quarter, if I can find it, a, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm just doing a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm not putting salt in, doesn't need it. If you want salt to taste, absolutely fine. So to that, I'm adding about a pint of chicken stock. Try and use homemade or low sodium if you're getting shop bought. I've got shop bought here because like I said to you the other day, I've canned all my chicken stock now and I need to make some more up this weekend. But I have got a bag of veg scraps I'll be using. Right, that's come to the end of that saute. Only took about 15 minutes. So that is it, guys. That is it. You've got your celery, your carrots, your onion, your garlic, your beef, your tomatoes and your black pepper and your tomato puree. Now to this you can add peppers, mushrooms, courgettes, any, anything you want in there. You could put some sweet potato in there. Anything, it's up to you. This is a dish that's really nice, served on rice, especially brown rice. And this Instant Pot is absolutely spot on for cooking brown rice. was there um sorry about that guys don't know what that was but anyway put it out now um this is excellent for cooking brown rice is the instant pot it gets it perfect every time and i always struggle doing brown rice on the on the whole just in a pan never works out for me but um i'm going to be serving this tonight on a bed of mashed potatoes so all I'm going to do now is pop it on a slow cook. You don't need this lid for a slow cook. You can just use the normal pan lid. But I've got this, so I'm using it anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it on high for six hours. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me just try and lower the camera down so you can see that. There we go. I think I'm using the wrong. Ooh, where, are we? where are we? There we go. Just slide you down. Ooh, sorry about that. The camera didn't want to move down then. Just tighten that up. So we've got this. Now, 
on us. Oh, you can't see, can you still? Sorry, guys, not doing very well today, am I? There we go. So we've got this on a slow cook on high for six hours. That will be absolutely phenomenal. Now, I use chicken broth because... <laughs> I use chicken broth because I said to you the other day, didn't I? I love the taste of chicken broth with beef. It's a nice, delicate flavour. You can use whatever stock you want. If you want to use beef stock, you can. I know what another nice thing to have as stock is one beef stock and one vegetable stock. That also makes a lovely gravy as well if you if you mix beef and vegetable together. So that will be a really nice hot hearty tea for tonight so that's all i've got for you today friends i will try and upload this video for you for today if you saw yesterday's video with a laundry powder your, your washing powder you'll see what you'll know what trouble i've had with my technology these last couple of days so i will do my best to get this uploaded for you today if i can but um for now goodbye god bless take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now